Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems, Technical Tuesday. Compensators are becoming a bigger part of our product line, and I think you've seen that with the DR920P and the CRP, and now the XRP, MRP, our thread on compensators. And so what's driving that? Everybody knows that P is for performance, compensators improve shooter performance, but how? Uh, well, what they do is they drive the muzzle back down to the center line of the target, in theory, uh, so a shot that maybe would have gone over a shoulder or off to the side is hopefully back into the location on the target where you would want it. Um, the way that really plays out is your cone of fire becomes more narrow. So if I'm pulling the trigger as fast as I can with an uncompensated gun, theoretically it's doing more of this and my cone of fire is wide versus a compensated gun, it becomes narrow and comes back to center line, right? So we're going to kind of test that theory, and we're going to do that with uh, a couple of uncompensated guns and a couple of compensated guns. So here we have the DR920L, which of course is our, uh, our, our flattest shooting uncompensated gun. Okay, This is sort of the gold standard in our product line for that. And then our most popular model, which is the MR920 Elite Bronze, uh, which is again sort of a baseline for performance. Then we have two compensated guns on the table. This is an MR920P, so this is the one we released at SHOT Show, okay, with the steel compensator. This gun fits in a 17 size holster. And then we have just the thread on compensator, which is an accessory that can be added to any existing threaded barrel shadow pistol, okay? All right, so how am I gonna test this? Uh, I'm gonna shoot six shot drills. We're at about nine and a half yards. I'm gonna use that mid-size plate. Hopefully I'm gonna hit it. And I'm gonna try to keep my shot cadence the same. So we're gonna see if I can put all the shots on there in a couple seconds, and we're gonna use a tape measure to see what the dispersion is on the target. And so what we would expect to see is that I probably maybe even send a few off the target if I'm going fast with the uncompensated guns, but with the compensated guns, they're all right there hopefully. So let's see if that plays out. Like I said, I'll shoot six shots. We'll probably measure the best five because there's always this human element. Um, and so we'll see how it plays out on the target. Okay, we'll paint each time so we can look at the shots. And I'll shoot the DR920L to start. We're just using some 124 grain factory ammo. Here we go. All right. I saw one go off the bottom of the target. I'm at 1.77 and I'm 0.87 to my first shot. So the actual shooting is 0.9, okay? 0.9, I saw the last one go off the target low. So these are the best five we're gonna measure. And I'm right at, I'm right at six and a half inches of dispersion. And as you'd expect, the dispersion is top to bottom, right? Because the gun is recoiling up and down, not side to side, right? So. There's our first attempt with a DR920L uncompensated gun in 1.77. We're gonna now shoot our MR920 uncompensated. That time I actually sent two off the target. And again, I'm trying to keep my cadence the same. So I'm at 1.69 for that one, which means I'm within eight hundredths of a second of my last run, and my first shot is 0.79. So again, it's right at 0.90 of shooting, almost exactly 0.90 of shooting. This is the best four because again, I actually sent some off the target. So I don't think this is a fair comparison in the sense that five and a half is what I see, but really I should be around eight inches or something, okay? so. I got five on the target going fast with the first gun. I got four on the target going fast with the second gun. And it's not surprising because the second gun is going to have more uh, dispersion. Okay, now let's shoot some compensated guns. We'll start with this one and we'll see how we do. All right, they're all on the target. 185, I was a little slower on that. I actually felt it, so I was 7 tenths of a second slower, but actually I started at 0.94. So 0.94 and 0.85, I'm again at almost exactly 9 tenths of a second. So the cadence was the same, and this time they're all there. So I did send that one high, so if I include that guy, I'm at 9 inches, but like I said, really this whole time we've been doing the best 4 or 5. So five and a half inches, yeah, four and a quarter. So right at, 
right at five inches. All right, so call that like maybe 15% better, something like that. And I'm keeping my cadence the same, so I'm getting right at exactly 0.9 every time, almost to the hundredth of a second. Last one is going to be the MR920P. Let me make sure I got a full mag. There we go. MR920P. All right. Here we go. Ooh, that one felt quick. Okay, 182 and a 0.95 start. So I'm at this point, I'm a 0.87. I'm within three hundredths of a second of the last one. Best, they're all there. Six again are all there. Call it eight and a half inches, but if I measure the best five like we've been doing, I'm right at five inches, maybe even a little less than, yeah, right at five. So, so what we're really seeing is if I hold time constant, and I think I did a pretty good job of that, we end up with a 15, maybe 20%, maybe more improvement in our cone of fire. So we can show these, these times and these results in a table so you can actually see it. Um, if I'm being honest, trying to be the one take guy to shoot all this the first time, I know the compensated guns can do better than that. There's always an element of nervousness when you're trying to shoot stuff like this. Um, but every person who picks up a compensated gun comments on how much easier they are to shoot. So if you're a little recoil sensitive or you just want the most performance possible, the compensated guns from Shadow Systems are going to be the best way to do it. It's going to do better than an uncompensated counterpart. And if you just want to dip your toe in the water, then by all means, the threat uncompensator is a great way to start. That's what we got for you this week. We'll see you next time.